And this, unacceptable. I'm not letting any of this happen because in this house we respect women. <laughs> hey, what's up today? I'm going to be roasting your art. So my followers have been using the hashtag critique me Jackie on Instagram. And today I'm going to take a look and see what artwork I can fix. And I'm using the word fix because, you know, art is subjective, but there are things that can improve your art using fundamentals of design and lighting and anatomy and yada, yada, yada. So all of this is obviously my opinion, but why is my opinion good? Well, I am a character designer for Disney, so I think I'm good at my job. <laughs> So today I'm working off of the artwork on Instagram, but I'm setting up a Discord server for my Patreon community. Hi, it's me from the future, and the Discord's actually already set up, and it is amazing. Where you'll be able to post your art, to be critiqued, post your homework from tutorials that I posted, network, create a little bit of an art community where we can give feedback, see each other's art, and create a little bit more of a community. I think that's really cool. So let's scroll through the hashtag and see what we can come up with. I already have 500 posts, that's beautiful. This is just an easy one that we're gonna show just a little bit. So right now her her chin is really sticking forward or her neck is really sticking forward. Put her neck for a little bit more forward, then we can kind of recover what we're having with her chin, but because I kind of like this pose that we have here with her neck coming out, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tuck her chin in just a little bit. Eyes, they don't ever go all the way to the edge of that head, so we're gonna tuck that eye in a little bit as well. I am big against eyebrows over the hair. That doesn't exist. So let's tuck that chin in a little bit. I'm also gonna make her head a little bit shorter. Also with this little plim right here at the side of the nose, it just makes her look like she's scowling and we're just gonna avoid that. We're gonna bring her lips up a little bit. You know, her bangs coming out just a little bit more just to add a little bit of an interesting silhouette with some real intention, just like how you had here. Like this is really ending with some intention. You know what I'm gonna do. These eyebrows are going underneath because we could still see the eyebrows. We still see that indication, but it's just not so intense. Right now her bridge of her nose is really shallow. Dig that in just a little bit of a realistic little touch. And I always like to add just a little bit of highlight under the eye. I feel like that really helps what is happening with her sweater, right? Do we have a turtleneck situation coming on? What does her sleeve look like? This is our change. There's barely any more details, but it's just a little bit more um, intentional with what shapes we're using, with what we decide to carve out, and with where we want our anatomy to sit. We'll start with this piece from Taya Doodles. So this is a nice drawing. Let's take a look a little closer. There's a little bit of construction that we can work on. If we add her center lines, we see that her face, I think that this eye can move in a little closer because our eyes would look a little bit more like this. I'm gonna make it just a little bit more on a plane. So let's say if we have one eye, we have two eyes and that's her smiling. If we take this and we move it in perspective, this far eye is going to squish a little bit. We're gonna squish that a little bit. We're going to bring the eyebrow out a little bit more. I'm not a fan of eyes and eyebrows going through the hair. Call me anti-anime. Let's put that lollipop in her mouth, but at a different angle to kind of make it pop out a little bit more. So already her anatomy works a little better. The silhouette of the lollipop works a little better. I'm gonna use the liquify tool and I'm gonna kind of push it a little bit further. I'm a sucker for some big loose strands of hair and because she's anime, lean into it, you know, make some really cool, fun pieces of hair. Also with hoodies, I recommend looking up what hoodies look like. Pieces are really sticking out and these drawstrings are really coming in and it all comes down to a point. Let's fix this hoodie up. It comes in like this, you know, you need a little bit of dimension. This part is dark and then the strings a lot longer. Fabric do got wrinkles, so let's add a little bit wrinkles coming in. And I'm also a sucker for a clear silhouette. And let's see how we can make that work. Her hand is crossed over. Ideally, what I would like to do in a beautiful ideal world, I would like to see her holding her phone like this. Having her pose like this would open up her silhouette so much. We're gonna work with what we have. And if, if it kind of looks ridiculous, which it kind of does, we can do it. I'm gonna keep it in for the fun of it. So a little bit of changes and there's a little bit more pizzazz, a little bit more fun into this character. 
let's move on to the next one. This one's really cute. I'm gonna see what we can do with this. So I really love the way the hair is done, but there's a little bit of anatomy issues that we can see. First of all, I feel like the lips are a little bit too low. I know we want big, luscious, beautiful lips, but then we're missing out that chin. Eyes are a big ball and, you know, they sit in a socket, but also we don't see the eyes sticking out of where the, the flesh is. So it would sit a little bit more inside. So this is the ear, this is the cheekbone. The eyes sit in front of that cheekbone. So it would be a little too far if it ended there. So I'm gonna bring this in. Also gonna bring that those lips in just a little bit. It looks a little gaunt because her cheek is really sunken in. So I'm gonna bring that out just a little bit to make her not look so malnourished. Because the eyes are so big, and we love a big eye, it's fun, it's cartoony, but when everything is big on the face, you know, nothing is big on the face. We need to choose what is our star. Is it the lips or is it the eyes? You know, and I'm gonna tuck in the hair just a little bit to really emphasize that slender neck to make her eyes look even bigger. Make that flower stand out just a little bit more. Break the silhouette so then the flower really shines. So her neck comes in like this, right? So there's where her shoulders are. Compared to her body and how skinny her arms are, I think her shoulders can be a lot slimmer. I just want to make her arms a little bit thicker. Okay, so something like this. So let's look at the before and after. Because the painting style is really realistic and rendered, that's why I kind of wanted to pull the features to be also a little bit more realistic. And I love the nose, which is why I didn't change a goddamn thing about it. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at it and I'm like, let me, let me fix this a little bit. So the thing that immediately strikes me when I see this, you look at it and you tell me, you think for a second, I'll give you a moment. What's wrong with this image? You know, something's a little funny with these hands. The silhouette could be a lot clearer and you know, we're losing a little bit of butt back here. You know, if she's slipping and she's going wild, I think that we can really push this a little bit more. I think these legs. So when you cut off the legs, what, what do you imagine that could be here instead? I can imagine seeing the underneath of the roller blades to really emphasize, you know, she's falling and the shoe's going whip, whip, whip. This leg, maybe it's going like this, how we had it before, but it's going a little bit lower. And let's see how I could fit it in. I'm also a fan of, so if this is the thigh, this is the back of the thigh, then the front of the shin would be straight and then the back calf would be round. And that's kind of like a basic way to do a leg. You can really play with your straights and curves. So that's what I'm gonna do a little bit here. What is this? Is this the, the cloth? It's not really helping tell the story. I have to be somewhere here where it can show the secondary action of the character flowing. And then maybe there's drinks on top of this and they're all spilling the milkshake. Really sell that story of what you're trying to tell. So let's see the before and after. There's a lot more clarity in the design. There's a lot more clarity in the pose and in the action of this character. This is really cute, this is really great, but there's a couple of things that I think could really emphasize this a little better. These music notes, I love them, but because everything's really big on the canvas, I'm gonna make them a lot smaller. You don't need them big to show that they're singing. Her mouth is up and her head is tilted back, so we would see um, these teeth a little bit in perspective, and we could totally have these drop shoulders, but I just wanna see a little bit more indication of the shoulders, you know? With this hair, with a simple style like this, there's two ways you can go about it. You can indicate hair with texture, because you started with line art. I'm expecting to see line art inside the hair as well. Either I would have the hair like this with some indications of volume and shadow, or draw out a few of these curls, a few of where they're meeting, of where they're going, something like that. Keeping something really simple, but having a little bit more indication of anatomy can really help with your drawing. Okay, I'm taking a look at this because I see potential. Okay, so when I look at this, I see a very symmetrical pose, but we can make this a lot more dynamic. So I see that your shoulders are offset that way, and that means your hips are gonna be offset the opposite way, right? Which is kind of what you have. So if we have this arm, maybe her head is tilted down a little bit. Maybe her hair is favored to one side. So maybe we see that the wind is coming in like this. There's so much we can do to make this a little bit more dynamic and interesting. This boob would come in like that and this boob would come out. Fabric being pulled around instead of having all these 
lumpy shapes, you're really indicating what this fabric is doing around her chest, how it sits on her. And that could be a lot more fun, a lot more dynamic, right? This is really cool. Let's try to do this one. So we see that this right here is our focal point. Let's make that a lot more focal. We see that she's sitting down and the plane looks like something like that on the ground from an upwards angle. So a lot of our ellipses would be a lot more like this, the way that her tube, her neck tube goes into her head and she's got it right here. You know, the traps go into the neck, but I think that we can kind of make these angles work a little bit more in our favor. We can make her face a little more down of an angle. I think that would really help you. So I bring the hair down a little bit and I also want her face to come out just a little bit more of her neck. These eyes, now bear with me. So the reason I'm doing this is because I want her anatomy to work a little bit better for the angle that we have. And her mouth would stick out just a little bit more. And something like this, I would love to see indication of puffiness. And this hand is also really big. You know, with these elephant ears coming out, where are they coming out? Are they coming out of the back of their head? This one, that's fine, because we don't really see it. But I would assume if it's anything like horns, it would come out right there. And I wouldn't shade behind her. We've got a lot of depth in here that this kind of just makes it look flat. So the shadow is correct down here. It to look like she's sitting on the ground. Oh, I forgot to add this. I was gonna make this really shine. Something like that would help sell the light as well. So something like this is a lot better in perspective and anatomy and in lighting. All right, let's take a look at this one. So right here, I wanna look, work a little bit on the anatomy of her face. So we have this up angle and from where the neck is coming out, nose would be sticking out of this center line. The head would actually be more of an angle like this. So let's start with her head. I'm going to try to stick to that center line. Changing the head like this allows for more dimension for the angle to work a little bit better. You know, why you gotta do this to her boob? Let her boob live, let her boob be who she wants to be. Take it easy. And this, unacceptable. I'm not letting any of this happen because in this house we respect women. <laughs> okay, I think it's coming out of buns out of the her head over here. So I would really emphasize that where it's really clear. Something more like, like this, something like that, add respect to her name. And that's it for me today. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I did a bad job. Let me know if I do a good job, but hopefully I made them better. Like I said, my future videos on roasting my followers will be from my Discord that you can join through my Patreon. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.